Well, yes, this will be the first, uh, not just the first English talk show on, on Malaysian television, but I think the first, what I, what I would call live in, in, any, in any language, because most talk shows are shot, they will shoot over four days, they'll shoot 13 episodes and then lump it all together and then they'll go to air later. We're shooting every Saturday, we're shooting basically live, mm -hmm. so the topics, the segments, the jokes, the, 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 the guests will actually be discussing other than uh, in general issues, very current issues. So literally something could happen that morning and we could be talking about it that evening. So that's what I think is going to be different about this and I think that's what's going to make it exciting uh, to the viewer and also exciting for myself and the guests as well. So um, I'm thrilled because uh, I can't say that how I'm going to feel at the moment because we, we go to air on May 28th. On that day, we'll probably, I'll probably be blur and I probably won't remember anything. So I'd just like to register now that I'm thrilled. Well, uh, of course, I watched religiously um, about 10, 12 years ago. You know, David Letterman and Jane Leno, uh, also Conan O'Brien, and even before that, uh, was Arsenio Hall back in the late 80s and 90s, and also uh, Ellen DeGeneres. Um, when my late mother was alive, I watched Ellen DeGeneres with her all the time. She was not late night, she's more daily. But now, uh, I do watch Fallon on CNBC, as well as I watch you know, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, Ol John Oliver, uh, James Gordon. So there's something about each and every one of them. There's something that they have their own spin on things which uh, I enjoy and I learn from and uh, hopefully I have a, a certain voice or a certain something that will become synonymous with me. Um, you can't create that, that that'll come. Uh, from a Malaysian context and from a regional context, I would say, number one, I've been a stand-up comedian for 25 years, so I have the experience of, of, of you know, layering comedy over serious issues. Number two, um, I'm, I have a voice and I'm quite vocal about it on, on social media as well. So I think uh, Astro Awani realizes this and they're hoping to capitalize on that as well. So it, it, it will be funny, the show will be infotainment, they, you will be entertained, but at the same time I'm hoping to touch on and get to you know, certain matters or certain issues which I think everyone's talking about. Well, I've got two of the guests which I've always wanted to speak to on, on a personal level. Uh, Tony Fernandez and, and Tatushi Naziraza. Um, one person I'm trying to get, and uh, I will get on the show, who I would love to, I'd love to speak to, but I think uh, I'm going to be a mess because I'll be so giggly and fanboy about it, is Nicole David. Um, her level of excellence, world excellence, is on par with, if not beyond, any living sportsman. No other sportsman has been a sports person has been at the top of their game as long as she has. Not Michael Schumacher, not uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldo, or anybody. She's on a world context. She is almost stunning, unbelievable. Okay, uh, what what people will will get from this show is other than you know light and and casual and moments. I like people to walk away with something that the guest said that they didn't know about the guest or didn't know. Uh, the guests thought about or and hopefully walk away from the show other than laughing and being entertained but also go ah that was interesting i i like the way that went and i learned something different I, you know uh, we have so much media out there and everything is very scrollable you can just shift past it within moments uh, but i want i want to create pieces where it, that hold you and go Later on, like in, in the social media world, I would like to create pieces which people, you then are compelled to share. Hey, this person said this, or look at what this person said, I want to share it. So would you rather be gossiped about or never talked about? <sighs> Obviously gossiped about. Um, would you rather be invisible or be able to read minds? <sighs> Hmm. <coughs> Obviously, read minds. Would you rather meet an alien visitor or travel to outer space? Ah. 
obviously meet an alien visitor. Would you rather only be able to whisper or shout? Obviously whisper. Would you rather always have to say everything on your mind or never speak again? Obviously never speak again. That's what my wife complains about. You never speak. You never speak. Would you rather have extra vision or bionic hearing? Ooh. I'm a visual person, obviously. Well, not bionic hearing, the other one. Extra, extra vision. vision. Uh, would you rather have a pet kangaroo or a pet koala bear? Ooh, nice one. Pet kangaroo, I think. Koala bears don't do anything. <laughs> so, would you rather, last one, would you rather stop time or fly? Obviously fly, man's greatest dream.